What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmers and welcome back to this series on JavaScript. In this video, we will learn about the numbers data type in JavaScript. We have already used numbers numerous times in our programs before. Now we will cover numbers in depth. More specifically, we will learn about number as an object in JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's start with the example of number variables which we have been using in our previous videos. So you can say something like const a equals 3 and const b equals 3.13. Here we have created number type variables by simply passing the numeric data 3 and 3.13 directly to variables during the initialization. We can verify that these are of number type by printing the type of these variables using the type of operator. So I can say console log type of a and console log type of b. Let me run this code and you can see that a and b both are of the number data type. That's because in JavaScript both integer values and floating point values are treated as numbers. The number function allows us to create numbers from other data types. Let's see this with an example. I'll remove this old code and let's see suppose we have a numeric string like 23 so number stored as a string this is a string because it is surrounded by quotation marks and now I want to convert this string to a number I can do that by passing it to the number function so I can say const num equals number str now I'll type the num and also to verify that this is now indeed a number let me say type of num let me also add another console log here to see the type of this variable before the conversion. Now, when I press run, you can see that the type of the number was string before the conversion and after passing it to a number function, it became a number. We can also convert boolean values to number using the number function. For example, I can say const bool equals true and const result equals number bool console log the result and when I press run I get the number one as output for false the output would obviously be zero if you're enjoying this video please also check out program is pro where we provide tutorials along with quizzes and challenges which will help you practice and test your learning in real time also, the course includes projects to give you an awesome experience of how programming works in the real world. And for our YouTube subscribers, we are giving 50% off on the yearly plan. Sign up by scanning this QR code or use the link in the video description to claim your discount. In JavaScript, NAND stands for not a number. This means that the value is not a number. For example, when we try to convert a non-numeric string using the number function, we will get NAND as output. Let me show you. I'll start by initializing the string hello now you can see that this is not a numeric string it does not contain a number now let me try to convert this to a number by using the number as a function and let me console log the result when i press run you can see that i get nan as the output this is because the non-numeric string cannot be converted to a number we can also get NAND output while performing arithmetic operations between a string and a number. Let me show you an example. So let me try an operation like result equals 4 minus hello, which obviously doesn't make any sense. So if I try to console log this result, press run. This time also I get NAND or not a number. This is because we are trying to subtract the string hello from the number 4 which is kind of impossible. In JavaScript we can also check if a value is nan or not. JavaScript provides an isNan method to check whether any value is nan or not. Let's see an example. So I'll say const result equals is nan and let me pass a number to this. So console log result when I press run. I get false because 9 is a number, so is nan is false. Now let me change the value from 9 to hello. So I'll say hello and press run. And this time I get true 
because indeed hello is not a number so is nan hello will return true okay guys we need your support to keep these kinds of content free for all users youtube really likes engagement on the video so leave a comment below press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses to make working with numbers easier javascript provides various methods that can be used directly in our program let's learn about them one by one the is integer method checks whether a number is an integer or not if the number is an integer it returns true otherwise it returns false let's see an example so i can say something like const num equals 32 and i can do const result equals number dot is integer num and let me console log the result when i press run something is wrong okay this is supposed to be small i when i press run i get true this is because 32 is indeed an integer now you must have noticed i use the format like number dot is integer but last time i had used number as a function this is one of the peculiarities of javascript and you'll get used to it soon here number is used as as an object and that's why since it has the is integer method i can use it like this now let's try it with something that is not an integer so something like 32.56 and when i press run you can see that i got false because 32.56 is not an integer instead it's a floating point number the parseint method converts a numeric string value to an integer so let me show you with an example i'll say const num equals something like a string 5 and i want to convert it to a number so i can say const result equals number dot parse int num and let me console log num oops not num i know it will be a string the result and also verify that this is indeed of the numeric data type so when i press run you can see that parseint converted this from a numeric string to a number that's why the type of result is number we can also convert a floating point number into an integer using the parseint method let's see an example suppose we have a floating point number like 5.2873 whatever and let me make this a bit long now let's use the parseint method to convert this to an integer i'll say const result equals number dot parse int num now let me console log the result and this time i will also check if this is indeed an integer by using the is integer method that we learned about in the last few moments number dot is integer result this should work and when i press run you can see that 5 is returned that means the floating point number was converted to an integer and this is verified by the fact that number dot int is integer result returns true similar to parseint we can also convert a numeric string that stores a floating point number to an actual floating point number let's see an example so a number can contain a numeric string that is a floating point like 5.36762 and now i can use the number dot parse float method to convert this to an actual floating point number so i'll console log the result and let me also console log the type of result just to verify press run and you can see that this was now converted to a floating point number and i verified that this there is the type of result is indeed number while working with numbers sometimes we get data with multiple values after decimal point just like this in such cases it would be easier to work if the data only includes some specific value after the decimal for this the javascript number provides the two fixed method that is used to limit the value after a certain decimal points let's see an example so i'll say const num equals 5.872222 and now let's say i only want two decimal values then i can use the two fixed method 
so I can say const result equals num dot to fixed and now as a parameter I can pass two because I just want two decimal places let me console log the result now when I press run you can see that I got only the first two decimal places now if I wanted three decimal places I could do three and press run again and this time I got three decimal places and you can also notice that this was rounded off to the nearest tens so because 8.73 it's 37 so 37 becomes 4. Now to practice what we've learned here's a programming task for you. Take a numeric string input from the user, convert that input into number and if the input is successfully converted to a number multiply that number by 10 and display the output. Otherwise print the string is nan. You'll find the answer to this question in our github repository. Also if you want to revise these concepts you can find all these programs there as well. I'll put the link in the video description below. Now that we've reached the end of this video it's time for the programming quiz. What is the output of the program? You can see the options on your screen. Comment your answer below. Happy programming!